ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, good evening, and welcome to the Candlelight Procession. Tonight's presentation is under the baton of conductor Dr. John Sinclair.
good eyes. Just about and and now, please welcome the Voices of Liberty and Epcot's Candlelight Processional.
this evening's special guest narrator, Gary Sinise. Thanksgiving, everyone. Welcome back, Y'all have a good time? Yeah, well, of course, we're at Disney. I'm not sure if you know, but Walt Disney began the tradition of the candlelight processional at Disneyland. For over 50 years, literally millions of guests have enjoyed the Christmas story, the traditional carols, and especially the glorious music of the holiday season. I invite you to sit back and enjoy our magnificent orchestra and these fantastic singers up here. Have a good time. Let's begin. In the sixth month, Angel Gabriel was sent from God to a city of Galilee named Nazareth to a virgin who was betrothed to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, O favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at the saying and tried to discern what sort of greeting this might be. And the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. For you have found favor with God, and behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall call his name Jesus.
out from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be registered. It all went, each to his own town, and Joseph also went up from Galilee, from the town of Nazareth to Judea, to the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be registered with Mary, his betrothed, who was with child. And while they were there, the time came for her to give birth. And she gave birth to her firstborn son, wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn.
suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill towards men. Saying, 
Where is he who was born king of the Jews? For we saw his star when it rose in the east, and have come to worship him. And when they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy.
has been told and retold for over 2,000 years. About 200 years ago, in a small church in Austria, the organist Franz came to Joseph Moore and said, Father Joseph, the organ is broken, and we will have no music for the Christmas Eve service. Later in the day, as Joseph made his rounds, he visited a home where a baby had just been born, and he thought about the birth of the baby Jesus. He was so inspired, he wrote a poem, went back to the church, and found Franz. He said, if we can't have the old organ, maybe we can have a new song and you can play the guitar. Franz said, Father, I only know three chords. And make a song with three chords. Well, Franz hummed and strung, and soon, he had composed the most beautiful and beloved of all the Christmas carols. Thank you. 
up here. I want to thank you all for being here. This is the uh, opening weekend of uh, Candlelight Precision 2015. And uh, I did my first candlelight 15 years ago. And some of these people have been here since then and way before. So it's always good to see everybody here. Magnificent orchestra. Magnificent singers, and he's, uh, the guest choir, the kids, aren't they great? <laughs> Let's not forget the trumpeters and the guest choir right here. <laughs> so have a wonderful uh, Christmas holiday, everyone. Uh, be safe, take care. Um, your families, hold your children. It's a dangerous world out there. We gotta stay strong and keep, keep together. God bless you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you.